Hey, welcome back. Welcome back. Here we go. So let's uh, let's keep going here. Uh, part three. I wanted to do two things: uh, recap on one and two, but then uh, talk to you about my favorite solo game for the year. And then now let's also then have a look at uh, some of the games I'm excited about for 2016. Right. So <clears throat> in terms of recap. Some of the best games that I played last year were older games, you know, the Third World War, uh, Carthage, uh, the Lock and Load system, but then some newer titles like Waterloo 200 from Vito Nuovo, uh, what is it called, uh, Fallen Eagles, things like that, Swords and Shields from uh, Tiny Battles Publishing, so really solid titles that uh, covered a, spe a spectrum of topics and a spectrum of mechanic styles and a spectrum of uh, ages and things in terms of uh, you know when they were made. So it was pretty exciting. One thing I did forget to mention with, uh, with my favorite titles is uh, Pacific War from Victory Games. It's a Mark Herman title. Big, big operational scale game. I did enjoy that enormously. I played just the one scenario though. And I do have a campaign scenario set up that hopefully will get started in 2016. I can't say that was one of the, my favorite, favorite games of the year, but it was a very, very interesting uh, s system to be exposed to. So, all right, let's, uh, let's talk about this, you know, my number one solo game for the year, which will kind of be a surprise for you, I think. Uh, Invaders from Dimension X. Now, this is a Herman Lippmann game, and it's also from Tiny, Tiny Battle Publishing. And it is the only solo game I've played that I know of where you have so much free choice in terms of what you do that you absolutely do not feel like you're being played by the system or the system's playing you or that you're the play aid to the system. Uh, and I love that about that, that title. It's a fun, fast playing, sci-fi space marines versus crazy aliens thing. And it's a really good game. It's 20 bucks and you're stupid if you don't go get out and play it, right? It's a fun game. More scenarios coming for that, uh, so keep your eye out for it. It'll be very cool. I wanted to mention that to you, so that's that. Now, interesting titles. <clears throat> a lot of stuff was reprinted this year. Empires of the Sun, Arden 44, Ukraine 43, uh, I'm looking here, Tank on Tank, a uh, bunch of other stuff as well. Uh, now, there's also a lot of other games published this year that I have not uh, touched on or looked at or purchased, many of them, uh, you know, just systems I'm not interested in, La Bate, for instance, uh, the Age of Reason, Age of Reason. Um, there's a whole swag of Worthington games that I haven't mentioned because uh, they're not games that I'm ever going to play or, or plan on playing uh, with folks. I've had a look at some of them and tried some of them. And they just haven't made the made the cut for me so much so I didn't even bother to mention them in mention them in the worst games played this year. That said, there are some games this year that I'm interested in trying out from some of those vendors. Uh, <clears throat> but let me just go through some real quickly. Uh, you know, Compass Games doesn't get a lot of love from me. I, I have several of their games, but I just have never really got many of them to the table or, or uh, been able to focus on them terribly much. But this year is going to be different. So, but let's uh, deal with Worthington first. One of the games I do want to try, one of the final titles that I'll be exploring in my tactical exploration, ex tactical scheme exploration of systems uh, is uh, Band of Brothers, the Ghost Panzer system. You know, this game's all busted up and broken up and I'm gonna give this little sucker a run for its money. I'm, I'm on the pre-order Kickstarter thing for the expanded version. Uh, with the three, the three modules, the Texas Arrows and all that sort of stuff. So I, I want to play this before I receive that game, so that I know whether or not I'm going to keep it or flip it or whatever the case may be. So I'm going to give this little sucker a run for its money, uh, just as I did with a, a, ASL Starter Kit. Uh, I like that enough that I'm I'm going to pick up Decision at Elst, uh, the historical module, because I, I have a, a small glimmer of hope that the historical modules are going to scratch the itch I'm looking for at that World War II tactical level. Because if you recall in my first video, I told you that I felt like many of the World War II tactical games out, including ASL, uh, 
uh, mere approximations of the battles that actually took place. And uh, I'll, I'll get into some more detail on that at some other time. I want to talk about that in detail. Uh, but I need to do some more homework. So, so I'm looking forward to playing Band of Brothers. That's the first one. Let's put that to one side. Uh, I have not, I've not played Rommel at Gazala. I took this to play with a buddy of mine in, his, in the game store. We got it all set up, but I forgot the freaking rules and the charts. Got to play that game because that's going to be fun. Uh, Ukraine 43. Once I get through Arden 44, I'm going to be giving this bad boy a run for its money. I've been seeing some friends play it online, and it looks like it's a very, very uh, interesting seven inch system and I will be looking forward to enjoying that and all my sleep. So that's right on the top of my list of doing some East Front stuff. It fits smack bang into my chronological walkthrough because we're, we're well into uh, 43. So uh, I'm excited about getting on with that, that bad boy. Uh, I've had Mitchell Land's game design of the next war career for nearly two years now. And they, you know, he invited me to play, uh, kind of do a play test of the Pakistan, India Pakistan game that's coming out as a way to learn the system. Never got around to it. They sent me the rules and the vassal module, and just the time escaped me. And I feel really bad and guilty for not having done that because I really think, having read the rules once or twice, uh, and even set up the air war uh, scenario to try and goof around with it that this is going to be a great system, but I just have not made the investment to do that. The Third World War from Frank Chadwick really occupied a lot of time uh, this year. So this is very, very high on my list to play in 2016. Okay, keeping on the modern theme, uh, guess who's here? Guess who's in the house, right? The Light Division. It's a Balkowski game. Is that how you pronounce his name? Let me just see. Yeah, Balkos Balkowski. Uh, Joe Volkowski. If I look in my look in my closet uh, for this 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 designer, my my closet is uh, my game shelves are riddled with his titles. So I'm stupid if I don't get this to the table this year. I gotta play this game, regardless of how good or bad it is. I gotta play it. He helped design City Find. He was involved in uh, the well. He did all of the great campaigns of the American Civil War stuff, which is epic, and a bunch of other stuff. In fact, I think I just posted a. A, uh, a listing about him uh, just the other day and, and all of his games that he's published. All right, so we're going to get on to that bad boy. Another seven inch title. So I'm going to be playing three, three seven inch titles this year. Uh, first one will be, uh, not the first one, but this will be another uh, the US Civil War. Monster game, massive mounted map, lots and lots of counters, great artwork, excellent rules innovative system super super excited to get that bad boy on the table ps a freaking p at the low level tactical fun play with your kids and have things and blow things up time gotta play this I, you know i've never played this game and i keep i, I i've set it up a couple of times i've actually played a turn or two right so i, I kind of know how it works but I've never really got into it. And I want to get into this thing because I think it's a great thing to play with the kids. So that's on my list. See how the pile grows? Okay, this guy. Solo, Butterfield, boom, right? Enemy action, uh, Dan. This is getting rave reviews from all of my buds who are players. And I picked this, up, this copy up super, super inexpensively and I am uh, Daunted and uh, <laughs> intimidated by all the cards, all the rule books. There's a rule book for the Germans, there's a rule book for the Allies, there's a rule book for playing solo, there's a rule book for playing this, there's a rule book for playing that. There's, you name it, it's got a rule book for it. This sucker's all punched and ready to go. I'm going to play this game in 2016. That's the stuff I'm most excited about. I'm also interested in playing Genesis. Uh, I think that's going to be fun from Richard Berg's um, system. I forget what it is, what the system is called now, Republic of Rome or whatever it is. I'm, I'm keen to get that uh, to the table. And uh, also, uh, you know who has been uh, figuring a lot in my uh, acquisitions lately is uh, Legion Games and Revolution Games for that matter. The Legion Games are Toulon 1793, uh, Napoleon Siege. Uh, the scenario, gorgeous map, interesting rules, great counters. Very keen to try and get some action on that one. Not sure that's going to happen this year, but we'll try. And uh, 
and part of the sons, you know, I've got to give my boy Herman uh, a little love. Uh, I've been trying to get that to the table as well and just fail miserably. So we will be trying to do that. Uh, I'm hoping uh, to revisit some titles uh, next, this, next, this coming year, 2016, as well. I'd like to uh, revisit some of the Revolution Games titles, in particular the, oh, what's it called? Uh, the Cauldron, Gazala, I'd like to have a look at that. And uh, Siege of Orgun, a uh, buddy of mine just acquired that. I just sold my copy and I quite like that game, but I'm gonna revisit that one. Uh, obviously MMP, I'll be playing some of their things. Uh, oh, I didn't bring it in. Uh, Day of Days, uh, the big monster D day game. I'm hoping to, in early January, we're gonna try and play some of that, play a small scenario there. That'll be my first real full scenario of that system, so, uh, as you can see, I've probably got two years worth of gaming to get done in 2016, so we'll see what happens. But anyway, that's what's going on. Uh, I hope everyone has a safe Christmas and a uh, happy new year, and that uh, Santa's good to you when it comes to gifts that revolve around war gaming and military history and, and all that sort of good stuff. So uh, peace and take care. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, fellas, ladies, boys, girls, your sister's aunt, etc. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the blog. Check it out. Tell a friend. Look to you. Look forward to seeing you in 2016. Later.